Hi all, welcome back to a new episode of Embedded Brew. In the previous video, we have started learning and working with OLED displays. Also, we have tried to solve some of your doubts through the reels. In this video, we are going to learn about a very important aspect of OLED. In case of LCD, we cannot create any kind of picture like we have clicked one picture and we will try to show it on the LCD. That is not possible. But in case of OLED, we can display custom images on the OLED. And that's what we are going to learn in today's tutorial. So without any delay, let's kick off today's video. To display our custom image on this OLED, we need the OLED module and the Arduino Nano, just like our previous video. So open your Arduino IDE and here I have the code using which we can display our image on the OLED display. And you can download this code from the description below from our website, you can check it out. Here in the beginning, we have included some libraries. These two libraries, mainly Adafruit GFX and SSD 1306. They are, these are the libraries for this OLED display. And I have told you about this in the previous video. You can check out that for proper info about OLED. All other parts are similar to the previous one. Just there is one change, this part. Here, here we have this grid or a bitmap of our image. So in this numbers, you can see hexadecimal numbers. In these numbers, our different parts of our image are included. So that particularly, we, whatever pixel we want to glow, that is high and the others are low. That's how it is working. There is this void setup part and after that the void loop where we are using this option display.drawbitmap and this will create the bitmap on our OLED. Now coming to this section that how can we create this bitmap out of any image. To create the bitmap of your custom image, you can go to this website and the website link is already given in our blog. You can check it out. So here you have to choose and select one image from your gallery and choose the file, upload it. And after that, you can choose your canvas size uh, and you can choose it according to your OLED display screen size. So here I have taken 182 cross 32 background color will be white and, and whatever things are there already don't change it let it be as it is and here you can see and here you can see a preview of your image for example here I have chosen the background color as white and the text will be black so let's change it to black now you can see the background is black and the image is white but I like this white one, so I will choose it. See, now in the output section, you can choose the code. What kind of board code do you want? For example, here we have, we have chosen the code output for Arduino code or Arduino code with single bitmap or Arduino code with GFX with bitmap. So according to that, but we have chosen the Arduino code only. You can explore all other options as well. Now click on generate code. And here you can see the code will be generated here. Now you don't have to, you can copy all of it, but don't copy all of it. Just copy this bitmaps. Open your Arduino ID and on this section, just replace the bitmap with the available bitmap. Now select your board. Here you can choose whatever board you are using. In my case, I am using Arduino Nano that is not showing here. So I will click on this select other board and port here source for Arduino Nano. Now I will choose the COM port as this one COM 12. Okay. Now click on upload. Initially it will compile the sketch and after that the board will accept and the code will be uploaded to our nano. While it is compiling and uploading the sketch, let me tell you one important thing. So before changing your image to the bitmap, resize your image into 128 cross 64 size. Then you can use that website. Otherwise some parts of your image will be missing. I have used Photoshop to do this task. But uh, you can use any other website, there are a lot available on the Google. 
So now let's see our output on the OLED. So as you can see here on the OLED screen, here is the logo and the text of Embedded Brew. This is one image that we have created on this OLED. Now what is this extra thing with the module? Well, this is a joystick module and we will get started with this in the next video. So that's all about our today's video. If you find this tutorial helpful, then don't forget to click on that like button, share it with your friends and let me know your thoughts, suggestions, even your doubts in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit that. What? Can we do animation on OLED? Well, that's a good topic. We'll see it in the next one. If you don't want to miss the update, then don't forget to subscribe that channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I will upload the next video, you can get the instant notification. Also follow us on all other social media platforms to get regular updates. See you in the next one. Till then, be cool, walk smart.